Lipids. In this lecture, we will talk about the chemistry of lipids, the classification of lipids, and the reactions of lipids. So let's start from the chemistry of the lipids. Uh, this chemistry is actually the definition of lipids also. You can use this chemistry for the definition of lipids also. Suppose if someone asks that what is the definition of the lipids, you can tell this chemistry uh, as a definition also. Anyway, let's start. So, what is the chemistry or the general definition of lipids? Fatty acid and alcohol, when these two combine together, they will make a product and that product is actually known as lipids. Wait a second. Fatty acid and uh, alcohol, when these two combine together, they will make a new product. That new product is known as lipids. And let's move towards another chemistry that is a little bit modified. So this is a modified de definition also. Modified chemistry, modified definition. Esters of long chain of fatty acid and alcohol is also known as lipids. So now what is the esters of long chains of fatty acid and alcohol? You must know about the esters. You must know about the structure of the fatty acid, alcohol, esters, all. Then it will be very easy for you to understand the chemistry of the lipids and uh, rest of the lecture. So let's go towards the structure, then we'll come back towards our definition and then we'll move uh, forward towards the classification and reactions. So starting from the structure that is ester, whenever you see alkyl group R attached with the C double bond OOR, then this is the structure of the ester. Clear? Okay. Fatty acid. When alkyl is attached with the carbon double bond O and OH. This is called actually when this group is attached with alkyl this is the fatty acid structure. Fatty acid structure. And alcohol very simple. When the hydroxyl group is attached with the alkyl then this is known as alcohol. So these three structures you must keep in mind for now. The very first structure fatty acid and alcohol. Now coming towards our first definition. Now, when fatty acid alcohol combine together, they will make a product. That product is known as lipid. Fatty acid. When you take this fatty acid and alcohol, when you combine them together, when you react them together, so they both will bind together and they will make a product. This is the product. This product is actually known as lipid. This is known as lipid. So now, how this product is formed? Very simple. This fatty acid will use its hydrogen. And this alcohol will use its hydroxyl group. These two will combine together. So hydrogen and hydroxyl when combined will produce water. You know two hydrogen, one oxygen. When react, they make water. So like this, what will happen? This hydrogen and hydroxyl group, they will be removed and water will be produced. And like this, this bond between the fatty acid and alcohol will extend from the alkyl of the alcohol and will bind with the oxygen of the fatty acid like this what will be formed this structure is formed you can compare alkyl carbonyl group it means carbon double bond o oxygen carbon double bond o oxygen and alkyl alkyl so this is actually called lipid when fatty acid alcohol combine together they make a structure that structure is called lipid now move towards the next definition asters of long chain of fatty acid and alcohol the same definition just aster is increased how like so fatty acid alcohol here was our alcohol, here was here is was our fatty acid. So their actually their ester is also called lipid. So now in first definition we said when these two combine together they will make a product that is called lipid. And now we are saying that the fatty acid alcohol their ester. Now this is actually called as ester. You know you can compare this structure with this one. Here is our ester group. We have our R, R, carbonyl group, carbon double bond O oxygen, carbon double bond O oxygen, R and R. So this is actually ester. So you can say that the ester of fatty acid and alcohol is also called lipid very simple let's move towards the classification lipids are classified into three major groups simple compound and derived before we move for the explanation one thing that you must keep in mind that lipids are made up of fatty acid and alcohol so these all groups means simple compound derived they all have fatty acid and alcohol in them then what is the thing that made them different? Or we are classifying the lipids into different groups. The very thing is alcohol. Now, all of these groups have different types of alcohol due to which 
we have three groups of lipids. So the very first one is simple lipid. In simple lipid, what we have? Lip lipids are composed of the fatty acid and alcohol. So very simple. In simple lipids, we have uh, fatty acid and alcohol. And here, the alcohol is the glycerol. I will just write a G here. Glycerol. And uh, rest you know, it is a lipid. It has fatty acid also. And the same is the case with the uh, wax. It is also a simple lipid. It also contains fatty acid and alcohol. But the alcohol used here is cetyl alcohol. Now what is cetyl alcohol? Now what is cetyl alcohol? Cetyl alcohol uh, is the alcohol which contains about 16 carbon long chain. So in the wax you can find the fatty acid attached with alcohol which is either cetyl alcohol or it may be the alcohol which contains uh, carbon from 12 to 32. So the chain can increase or decrease from 12 to 32 which can be. Anyways, so here I'm giving example of fatty acid and cetyl alcohol which is actually 16 carbon long chain alcohol. So when these two alcohols are found in a chemical structure of a lipid that is actually a simple lipid which is called as wax. Let's move towards the next classification that is compound lipids. Compound, you know, compound is actually the combination of different things. So now lipids, when they have some other moieties, some other thing attached to its chemical structure, then that lipid is just called as compound lipids. So here, in sense of compound lipids, we have further three types, phospholipid, glycolipids, lipoproteins. So now why these are called compound? What is the reason? I told you that when some other thing is attached to the lipid that is called as compound. Here, to this lipid, Phosphate is attached. So this is called a phospholipid, which is a compound lipid. Why? Because this lipid has a phosphate attached to it. And glycolipid, a lipid which attaches with a glyco, means glucose, a carbohydrate. And here, lipoprotein, a lipid attached with a protein. Very simple. So phospholipids are further divided into two due to the alcohol. I told you, this alcohol is the very thing that makes the division or the difference. So phospholipids are glycerophospholipid, sphingophospholipid. So lipids, you know, fatty acid and alcohol. So phospholipid contains what? It contains phosphate, it contains fatty acid, it contains alcohol, and one more thing, nitrogen space. So in the phospholipids, especially glycerophospholipid, the alcohol is the glycerol. Very simple. And the sphingophospholipid, this is a phospholipid which contains phospholipids, you know, fatty acid and alcohol. And the very alcohol that is present in the sphingophospholipid is the Sphingosine. So sphingosine, fatty acid, nitrogenous base and phosphate, when these are seen in any structure, then that is actually called as sphingophospholipid, which is a compound phospholipid. Now what are the examples of the glycerophospholipid? Lacithine, choline and the example of the sphingophospholipid is the sphingomyelin. And one thing that you must remember is that you must practice the chemical structures or if sometimes you can be asked about the chemical structure in the examinations. So one clue that I'm giving you is that suppose you have not practiced the structures at home. So when you are in the examination hall or in front of the person who is asking a question from you. So examiner, if he puts or if the examiner puts in front of you the structures. So here the examiner asks that now point out the mm, sphingophospholipid. So if you don't know that which is the sphingophospholipid, so you must have the concept that if any structure comes in front of me, the phosphate acid is present in that structure, the nitrogen space is present, the phosphate is present. You can tell yourself and you can click it that this is actually a uh, compound lipid which is a phospholipid if you don't know. And if you know the structure of sphingosine, you can directly and perfectly say that, sir, this structure is actually of the sphingophospholipid which is a phospholipid which is a compound phospholipid very simple so moving towards the glycolipids now glycolipids have glyco you can say carbohydrates attached with a lipid now lipid has fatty acid and alcohol so carbohydrate fatty acid alcohol when these three combine together they will make a compound lipid known as glycolipid and uh, here fatty acid is present alcohol is sphingosine and carbohydrate when these three are attached they will make a lipid known as glycolipid and the example is cerebroside. Moving towards the lipoprotein, when a protein is attached with the lipids, protein, lipids, lipids have fatty acid and alcohol, protein, fatty acid, alcohol, attached together will make a lipid which is a compound lipid. Now why is it called compound? Because it has a protein attached. 
so protein with the fatty acid and alcohol is actually the lipoprotein now examples are chylomicron hdl ldl these are actually the carrier for the lipids which carry the lipid from the uh, git towards the tissues and liver etc moving towards the next one that is the derived lipids now you can understand this derived lipids from its name derived which means it is taken from something so derived lipids are actually taken from the simple and compound lipids when you break the simple or compound lipids you will get actually the derived lipids you know lipids are made of fatty acid alcohol and etc so here fatty acid it is a derived lipid glycerol which is alcohol it is also a derived lipid because it is obtained from these all vitamins vitamins like fat soluble vitamins a d e and k so these vitamins, acyl groups, sterols, etc. These all are the derived lipids. And these are actually derived when you break these simple and compound lipids. So moving towards the reactions. There are different types of reactions. So here we will discuss just three basic types. Hydrolysis, hydrogenation, saponification. Hydrolysis by means of water when you break something. So when we add water to the lipids, what will happen? Wait a second. Here, now just uh, take the reaction in a reverse manner. So when you add the water, uh, this is the bond between the oxygen and uh, alkyl group. When you add the water into this lipid, what will happen? This bond will break and you know water is made up of hydrogen and hydroxyl group. So what will happen? The hydroxyl will attach here because it has positive group and the electronegativity you know of oxygen is negative so it will attract the positive portion here is a positive hydrogen it will bind with this so what will happen the fatty acid will be produced and the alcohol will be produced very simple when you add water into the lipid it will split back to its components like fatty acid and alcohol before when fatty acid and alcohol they combined they produced the lipid now when you add water it will then again split to into fatty acid and alcohol so this is the hydrolysis reaction next one is hydrogenation so now what is hydrogenation hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen when you 